Okay, we have four small assignments here, and there is nothing more in the PDF file except this. Uh, first of all, we need to familiarize ourselves with this. And this is the so called right hand rule. And it says if you have current in this direction, you direct thumb toward the direction of the current of the right hand, thumb of the right hand, and these fingers curl around the conductor in the direction of the magnetic field. So you could move this any way you want. If current is always in the direction of the thumb and magnetic field is in the direction of the these fingers that curl around the conductor. So magnetic field is as you can see circular around this long conductor. Okay, now let us Go back to the assignment in the figure below. Find the direction of the current in the wire that would produce a magnetic field shown as shown. Directly shown. Okay, you have here a conductor, and upwards is into the paper, and down and below that is from the paper. So direction of the current is obviously to the left, as you can see. So this is the direction of the current and into paper upwards and downwards from the paper so this is the point of the vectors and this is the bottom of the vector okay now this it's the same thing doesn't matter it, if it's circular or not if you have circular you have some current that goes in this direction you curl your fingers around that around that conductor with thumb in the direction of the current so if you place your hand here, here will be from the paper, and here will be here will be in the paper. Okay. Here, of course, doesn't matter. You could whatever. So here is into the page, and uh, here is from the page. If this current would go downwards, then it would be other way around. That's all there is to it. There's nothing more in the PDF file, but if you want to read it, you can. For complete written answer, please follow the link in the description. If you want more of this, please subscribe and tell your friends. Thank you.